So during our first implementation trip, members of SFP and the UC Berkeley student chapter had the opportunity to travel to El Yanito, which is the community we're working with in Nicaragua, to help them start building their water distribution system. Our travelers each stayed there in roughly two week shifts, and while we were there, we lived with families that uh, lived in the community. The families we stayed with were incredibly helpful and welcoming. They were all kind enough to give up rooms in their houses for us and help us use their showers and wash our clothes. I stayed in a woman named Zelida's house with her and her family. She had four kids and her mother lived in the house with us too. Not only did she cook for me while I was staying there, but she prepared breakfast, lunch, and dinner for our entire travel team during our whole stay, which at a given time was at least four people. We would all sit and eat in a room adjunct to her house as her kids ran in and out and asked us to play cards with them. <laughs> and not only did she prepare every meal for us, but she also cooked for her family, her kids, and even a few other kids in the neighborhood who would like to come and hang out at our house. So the amount of work that she was doing during our stay was absolutely incredible. Me and our fellow traveler, Keyshawn, were also vegetarian, so Zelida ended up making us vegetarian versions of every meal, which really couldn't have been easy, so it was really amazing for her to do that. Um, and we usually ate rice and beans, we had cheese, hard-boiled eggs. Um, she would make us sort of roasted vegetables um, and salsa and these really amazing um, fruit juice drinks. And um, this here was a vegetable soup she ended up making for me towards the end of our trip, which was really good. At a few points throughout our trip, we would have big group meetings with Alcansa, the NGO we partnered with, the Water Committee CAPS from El Unito, and the community members that were helping with the project. We would all gather at one house and sit in the living room in a big circle. First, we would start off by giving updates on the project, where Luz, a member of Alcansa, would basically translate back and forth between Spanish and English and tell everyone what had been done and what the next steps were. Once the project updates were over, we would all eat dinner together. A few people in the community, usually Zelida, would have cooked all day for it. It was always really nice to be able to sit with everyone, watch people interact, um, even if we couldn't understand all of the Spanish, and have conversations with people in the community who we didn't usually get to eat with. Eventually, these dinners would turn into parties and someone would turn on music, and at some point or another, everyone had to dance, including all of the community members, CAPS members, all CONS members, and all of the members of EWB too. Um, these moments felt really special because it felt like we were there having fun with everyone as family and as friends and not just as partners in our work. <laughs> because of the friendships and the sense of community that these families shared with us, we've built a unique relationship with El Yanito that we can foster in a more long-term sense. We have begun discussions with the community about the possibility of following up our current project with new projects, like maybe bringing composting toilets to the community or using solar energy. And so instead of feeling like we were there to just do one isolated job, our relationship with El Yanito seems like it can be an ongoing partnership. We've seen this in the way that we continue to communicate with our friends and community members, how we check in with each other semi-regularly to see how everyone is doing in these uncertain times. It's my hope, and I think the hope of many of us who got to spend time in Nicaragua, that we continue to foster this connection and the mutual support that we established during our stay. Ya los pa